Hey guys, it's Freddy Tech back with CFL Tech and today we will be looking at Sling and this is a live streaming service and they do offer a free channel selection as well which is called Sling Free Stream and we did a video on that not too long ago on the channel so if you're interested in only the free content and supported content they offer you can check out that video on the channel. And today we'll be looking at the version on the Fire Stick. So we're gonna go ahead and right into the app here and launch it and see what we got. And we did launch it a little bit ago, but here it is, this flash screen is going to show. So that's cool. And then you have my profile. And once you have your account set up online, once you become a uh, subscriber, you'll have an option to you know, have your login set up like with, it, like with any other apps. So when you get in, you have the um, left column here of menu options. You have search, home, guide, DVR, on demand, and settings. So by default, you're on home, which makes sense. And then when you get on the home, you have a bunch of content up top here, or suggestions, let's call it. And they have a bunch of different, uh, you know, prime real estate options up there. I guess they want you to watch. These are more suggested, more popular. And then you have recommended for you. You have the streaming hub, which you have to pay extra for, which we do not. But they have a bunch of different options here with different... Uh, you know channels and you see here you got uh let's see uh cinefest and you have con tv dog tv so <laughs> you have a bunch of different options there so in the beginning here you have discovery plus as well and amc plus so you have to pay for those those are add-ons we have sports matchups so you have a bunch of different sports uh events here it looks like baseball right now so they have the uh, upcoming schedule and then you have uh, continue watching and then you have showtime free preview which happens to be going on this weekend which will not be here as of going into this new week so that will be gone that's just a preview they're doing that on direct tv stream as well and then you have featured shows sports on sling popular on sling and you get the idea so they have a bunch of different um categories then you have browse the categories as well. You can browse by channel. So let's say A and E. You go into the channel and it shows you uh, what's going on right now. You have the watch now uh, live. See the live? It's showing in blue and white there. The little box, and then it tells you how much time's left in this episode. And then if you go down, it shows you the upcoming schedule on A and E. So that's nice. So you can go right to the channel that way. And then I have a bunch of different other options here as well. Different shows listed that they offer. So it's pretty cool. And then let's go back out and we're gonna to go to the left menu again. And now let's go look at the traditional guide. So they have a traditional guide. It's very similar with the grid format, very familiar. So if you go all the way to the top, which what is what we're gonna do, you have all, you have A to Z, favorites. Uh, let's see, you have uh, recent sports, news, movies, and there's the free stream we mentioned, but we're not going to go into that now. Then you have kids. We're not going to go to the right there, but just to get an idea of what, what they offer. But now when you have um, this guide here, so if you go to all, you're going to see here now everything's going to be listed that they offer in your area. Now, Sling will not have your regular channels. They're not going to have, I'm sorry, ABC, NBC, CBS. They do offer Fox in this area. Some limited areas they may have an ABC, but you're gonna have to check uh, when you do the go to the website. You can put in your information for your area, and then it should tell you what's available as far as local channels go. So that's something you have to consider. Uh, with with this, you're gonna have to look at getting uh, maybe an antenna. So um, that's something to always keep in mind when it comes to uh, Sling. They don't offer all of the local channels, so. That's one downfall that some people find with this app service, so it's a little bit disappointing. Um, another thing that's not working very great right now with this uh, with the guide is that we have it selected as all, and it's going to showtime, but I think that's only because of the weekend. Um, otherwise, it would have stopped at the Fox channel, so there you go. I guess they being they're offering the free preview this weekend of the Showtime networks, that was on the top, so that's what that was. Threw us for a little loop there, but we're good now. So you have FX1, uh, FX, FS1, FS2. This is the blue package that we have here. And we have the additional uh, total package as well added on. But we'll go over that with the website in a little bit and show you what they offer and which options are the best to go with to get the sports you like, especially now that we're getting to football season and all that. 
So here you go, you have the all, so look at these channels you get with the blue. Uh, there's NFL Network, and you have a bunch of college channels as well. And then you have, uh, let's see, you have uh, AHC, MGM Plus, AMC, we, had, we saw A&E at the top. You have USA Network, uh, True TV, you have uh, Comedy Central, Paramount Network, MTV, MTV2, VH1. So you see History Channel, and there's A&E again. So there you go, there's the channels that they offer on the blue package. But there's your grid style guide, so it's real simple format. Nothing fancy here, just it gets the job done. Kind of similar to what um, YouTube TV's guide looks like with the boxy look. You know, nothing fancy. It looks good on here because um, it looks better than it used to. It's got the darker colors. Anything with the darker background, in my opinion, looks a little more um, solid or um, it gives you a, a better contrast, so it's really nice. So let's go to the DVR and let's take a look here. Now, we have no recordings in there, but it shows you we have 200 hours. So when you do the blue package and you don't get the extra, you only get 200 hours. So that's something you have to keep in mind. They do offer more, but we'll go over that on the website when we get to it. But uh, there you go, DVR storage. There's a tab there and it says we have nothing, uh, no recently deleted recordings. So they have the DVR. Then there's On Demand. So when you go to On Demand, it's exactly what it is. So these shows you can watch On Demand when you want. Now there's a streaming hub again. So you got some movies on here. You got uh, some hit movies. So we scroll uh, horizontally here and you see uh, you have The King of Staten Island. You have Bad Moms and you have Spider-Man. You have John Wick and you have, uh, let's see, you have Warcraft, you have, let's see, Escape Plan, Taken 2, so you got quite a few. And you got featured shows, so you got, uh, let's see, Naked and Afraid Castaways, you have Black Snow, Ugliest House in America, 20 episodes of that, After the First 48, Project Runway, so you see what you get, just an idea, we're not going to go through all of these. And you have new what's going on for the weekend. So if you're on the weekend, um, this will show you what's on new for the weekend. So that's kind of nice to have that broken down. And then you have action-packed movies. You have classic sitcoms. There's The Office, The Big Bang Theory, Young Sheldon, Friends, King of Queens, Malcolm in the Middle, Sex in the City. So this is pretty cool. So let's go into one of these real quick. We're not going to play it, obviously, for copyright reasons. But there you go. It's going to show you now all the... Um, the episodes, you have the different seasons there. You have, you have nine, you have, uh, let's see, you have nine, eight, two, and one. Now, not every season, but there's quite a few in here. So when you look at this, you see what you get. So quite a few episodes. So it's kind of nice to have this on demand as well. And if you like these uh, older sitcoms, that's really cool. And they have it for you. So that's something to keep in mind. If you like this service, you'll like that as well. So crime shows. Uh, unscripted and unfiltered. You have comedy movies, comedy shows. So it's very good. They have quite a bit on here. So if you do the um, paid subscription, not only do you get the live channels like you do with any other live TV streaming service, but you get all this extra on demand. So it's really cool that they have this library. So Sling is, is not bad. Again, you have to think about the you know, the not having um, the CBS's and the, and the uh, ABC's and the NBC's on your for your local so you have to keep that in mind but they do have a good amount of sports as you saw they had NFL Network NFL Red Zone all the ESPN's are offered so they got you covered there they have the uh, let's see I think they have the NHL Network as well so they have a fair amount of sports you know they kind of fall in under the radar when it comes to that. let's go up to the sports tab real quick and see what they got as far as the sports offerings go. Um, so they have, like we showed earlier, they have it in categories at the top. So you don't have to, you have to go through the whole guide. So let's go to sports, right? So sports should be coming up. There you go. You got, um, you got ML, well, let's see if it's gone here. So you got, uh, make sure it's working properly. We have sports highlighted. So the sling's gotta be working right. It is not working at the moment, folks, so we apologize for that. <laughs> That's on this uh, app, it looks like, but we're trying to get in there and the sports are not coming up. So 
Sorry about that, sometimes that happens, but we're not gonna edit the video because of that, but unfortunately we wanted to show you that and it is not, but there you go. Let's look at it now, there you go. So we got Strike Zone, you got MLB, MLB, Net, you have Alternate MLB, MLB Network, Red Zone, and you got NFL Network, you got uh, NBA TV, NHL Network. These are what they offer. Doesn't mean it's gonna be on your package though. You have to look at that as well. So we'll have that up here on the website, but there's a quick look at the um, Sling app. So hopefully this is helpful. So you get a look at the app before you purchase. You can get a free trial as well. So go to their website and you can do a free trial on this service. And we'll pull up the website here now and take a look at what they offer. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. All right, guys, we have the Sling website pulled up here. So let's take a look and see what they have to offer as far as the packages go. They offer an orange and blue package. It's pretty straightforward and easy for the most part, but you have to watch out if you want ESPN or NFL Network. So we're going to take a look, and I'll show you that here and with what we mean as far as be careful with what you select. Now you see here the Sling Orange it does have ESPNs, has the ESPN, ESPN2, and ESPN3 included. So that's good. Now... Let's look at the channels as well, The what they offer here. So as you can see, TBS, TNT, TNT History Channel. Uh, you have, uh, let's see, Cartoon Network, A&E, Food Network, some real popular channels, ID. So you get the idea, and there's the three ESPNs as well. So if you look here, you go down to the blue. Now, if you want the NFL Network, well, guess what? You only can get it on the blue. So if you like ESPN and you want NFL Network, you can't just get one to get both of those channels. So you have to go with the both option, and we're going to take a look at that as well. But let's look at the blue channel offerings. And as you can see here, you got uh, Fox News, NFL Network, CNN, TBS. Uh, you have uh, the Food Network as well. There's about 24 channels that are available on both the blue and orange. That's standard, so you will get those on either but if you like the sports, that's where sports they have they get you. They know sports, you know, it's more expensive to carry, so they're very careful in how they market that, and they want you to opt for the higher packages, of course. Now here's when you go uh, when you go with both, you get the first month for twenty seven fifty if you go with blue, orange, and blue. Uh, the normal price is fifty five per month, and there's the sports extra packages now. So if you do that, that's fifteen dollars per month. So this is what you get with that. So you have the uh, Red Zone, you have ACCN, you have NHL Network, you have MLB Network, you have the uh, Auxiliary MLB Network, you have uh, NBA TV. So you get quite a few here to choose from when it comes, you got ESPN News as well. So if you get the Sports Extra and you get the, um, the Blue Package, you can get the ESPN News. So that's good. And you get ESPNU as well. So those that's something to think about if you want to mix and match. But really, this is one of the better deals here. So if you go with the orange and blue, $27.50 for the first month. $55 is your regular rate, 45 channels. And then you go with the Sports Extra on there for 19 channels. So it's not too bad. You come in probably close to what you get for DirecTV Stream. Now, DirecTV Stream's entertainment package does not have MLB Network. So this might be better than even Fubo and the MLB Network for the sports fan. But now you got to remember the local channels. You will not have all of your local ABC, CBS, and NBC and Fox. It's depending on your area. You may see one or two of those. You may see Fox in one area. Like we only have Fox available on Sling in this area that we're in. So you have to take a look. They will let you know and you look at the packages before you sign up. You can always look at that and see what's, which local channels are available. But that's a general idea of what's available for the packages. Now this is available on all of the major platforms. Roku, Apple TV, um, you got uh, iOS, you got 
uh, Samsung and LG smart TVs. So it's available on pretty much every smart platform that there is or any device platform there is. So they offer Sling widely. So you don't have to worry about not being able to use this, your mobile devices as well. So it's very easily accessible and the service is generally pretty good. They don't have too many problems with outages and stuff like that. Fairly reliable. It's owned by Dish. So they're pretty reliable as far as their streaming service goes. But, uh, you know, we had know they had a problem a few months back with the actual DISH network. But things have seemed to be resolved now, so everything's up and running well. So what are your thoughts on Sling? Do you currently subscribe to it? Or are you thinking about it? Uh, now with football season coming up, you know, are you looking to get the NFL Network and Red Zone on Sling? Or are maybe using DirecTV Stream right now? Because they offer both channels as well. So put your thoughts down below in the comment section. Again, we'll link this down below. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you again for watching. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that thumbs up. And also remember hit the notification bell for the next video when it does drop. Thank you to everybody who's watching. Take care. Talk to you guys soon.